today on this gorgeous afternoon, I'm going to get the Commodore 64 out. And that is because I'm going to recap it. It's been a while since I've even touched it and messed with it, and I want to play with it. <laughs> so I thought, okay, let's just get this thing out and sort it out completely. So, let's begin. Okay, so here is my uh, Commodore 64, and I have it open already. For those of you who don't know, this is a Commodore 64C motherboard inside a bread bin case. I like the look of the old one, and uh, unfortunately my old one didn't work. Uh, there's something up with it, so a friend finally sent me, you know, this one. Most of the time I'm just messing around with things to kind of get them working, try and get them working. So I have the capacitors over here to recap this thing. It is acting a bit funny, the graphics are, you know, a bit... The colors are bleeding a bit and things like that. Even though I have, I'm using the RGB output and a good RGB to SCART lead, but it's still happening. And I have myself some heat sinks too, so I can put them in there. So let's put the screws in the bezel. And yes, I am using a wick today still. <laughs> A soldering wick because my desolder got lost in the mail and um, I emailed them and they just said refund so I'm gonna have to sort that out for later on. The soldering sponge is freaking dry as a bone. <laughs> I need to kind of get some water on that. It's like desert. Oh man, after working on Senor Sanyo, uh, the um, ghetto blaster, the Sanyo ghetto blaster, um, I realized how hard it is to actually desolder from uh, a computer, like a Commodore 64 or an Amiga 500 or something like this, because it's like double sided. Oh, uh, what I think they call it um, through hole or something like this. <laughs> it's seriously. Freaking headache! Oh man! Oh my god, wow, I got the freaking capacitor out. All this time! It's like five songs have just gone by. <laughs> so let's uh, clean that up now. So much flux in there. Some isopropanol. So one capacitor out, and I had to go and take a rest because it's just so much. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, a friend called, so I just decided to go and hang out. So, so one capacitor out, let's replace that. Which one is it first? It is a 2.2 off. And it goes there. Thankfully, the uh, motherboard is marked, which is positive, which is negative. I really hope the rest of the capacitors are not so hard to kind of desolder. It's just ridiculous that was. Just take them out the bag and put them inside the base so it's freaking easier. <laughs> Sometimes you're a little wound up about something when you've just, you know, you haven't even begun doing it. You 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 come into it a little wound up. So that's kind of nice, you know that. Sometimes you need to unwind a little before starting, so... Okay, so that's second capacitor out. And that is a 220 off. So this is the 2.2 off, right? Yeah. And we want a 220 off. Those of you who keep saying to me that I need a chisel tip soldering iron tip, you're right, I do. <laughs> I need to get around ordering it, as I said earlier, because, you know, this is just, it'd be way easier. The heat is, you know, focused better 
or that. It's focused on what I want it, and it's easier to desolder things. So, yeah. My freaking ring is like all the way underneath. You'll see my ring getting wonky and <laughs> people pointing it out in the comments. It's kind of funny. What's this one here? So first, I think it's called Reflow. Is it called Reflow? Putting the new solder in. What is it? What do you call it? Seriously, give me a, a, a cassette recorder or a Geta Blaster boombox, whatever you call them. Uh, give me one of those to you know, desolder the caps. In fact, I'll be doing that anyway soon, but um, in another future project. <laughs> but seriously, give me that over doing computers anytime. I hate this through hole soldering thing because it's like it's so hard, frustrating. It's just makes everything take twice as long. Good. I wish I had that electric desoldering pump that was going to arrive. Just would have been like so much easier. Oh, I like this music. My favorite in Shadow the Beast. This is the Commodore 64 version. The last time was a remixed version, which I was playing in my chill out time. When I was checking the book, the compendium one. Those two? Mm. Just those two. <laughs> Jump shells are, but it's uh, magnetic fields, of course. You'd recognize it, but it's from Bumjack. <laughs> and of course, the legendary music of Commando. I recently, um, read the story, or was told the story as well, as reading it, about Rob Hubbard. And him <clears throat> coming up with his son overnight. <laughs> and I was like, very impressed actually. It's like, wow. Wish I could come up with things that good this quick. <laughs> I don't like residue of flux. It to be off because I know what the flux residue did when I was um, recapping my reel to reel deck. Okay, so four, uh, five done. So, how much we have left? We have See it climbing up. Love this. Chris Yosbeck's Gianna Sisters theme. Satisfying watching it climb all the way up like this. <laughs> right, so I have four heat sinks here. Right, so of course, these chips have different names, uh, different according to the documentation because obviously it's a newer one. The documentation is, you know, for the older one only. Let's just do the chip first, you know, which is this thing. It's just basic alcohol. Like. Not really hard one off. And then 
stick it under the set chip. This is 8580. I must have said before that I prefer the old set chip. But I have sound. Like so this one is the next chip and it's the CPU, it's the 8565. It's just This is the PLA chip, the 253535. It's a sharp one. And it's just. Uh, this means a lot to me. I have um, endlessly tried to freaking get a good working C64, and I just. I'd be destroyed if I goofed this up. Okay, so my Commodore 64 is back in its place. Oh, back, should, should I say back under its place? Oh, right over there <laughs> on the other side of the Amiga. And um, now it's the crunch time, the time <laughs> you know, to try and to switch it on and see if it works. Yes, as always, I'm nervous. So let's try it together. So let's turn it on and see. Okay, live, light comes on. Life, it works. Actually, you know something? I'm noticing that it's sharper. It's way sharper. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm gonna test something. Okay, there's two games here. Nothing special, uh, but no matter what I did with these two games, they just wouldn't load. This one, uh, sorry, the arcade classics would get a tape error, and this uh, Munch Mania just would not work. I even tried downloading the tap files and putting them onto another tape. Uh, and uh, still, this exact same error I got. Um, let's check Arcade uh, Classics first. Okay, got this far last time too, but around here, it just kept, kept coming up with a tape error. It's just give it a couple of minutes <laughs> see if it works <laughs> it works I was gonna make a small animation with this guy but wow it works cool I mean it's not about the game <laughs> this game is mediocre but it's the fact that it works and that it works now after recapping it I mean a lot of other titles did work before recapping but this one didn't and Munch Mania didn't. This is one I'm going to try next. Um, but this needed recapping. It made a difference. Okay, let's... I'm not impressed with the firing sound, <laughs> to be honest. But... Um, to be honest, this arcade... This arcade um, classics is kind of... Kind of crap. <laughs> Let's try the Space Invaders, see how that is. Oh, this sucks. The Atari 2600 had a way better one than this, I'm sure. Okay, Horace goes skiing. Uh, this was... Uh, in, this is a Sinclair Spectrum game, and uh, which has been converted to Commodore 64. It's ported to Commodore 64. And um, this didn't work. So let's test this and see if this works. So <laughs> it loaded before I got the chance to finish my animation. <laughs> This needed recapping. It just kept getting tape errors on certain tapes. Not all of them, but certain ones. Okay, so I'm gonna enjoy my evening here, trying out games and <laughs> playing games, uh, with the peace of mind that, that it's been recapped and it's not gonna get damaged or anything. So, for now, I will say thanks so much for your likes, your shares, and uh, do leave your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check out my other videos and of course do subscribe for more and um, well this part is pretty much the same yeah anyway uh, what was I saying? Um, oh freak sorry I just ran him over <laughs> anyway um, 
what I was saying? What was I freaking saying? What was I saying? Yeah. Um, don't forget to check out my other videos. <laughs> and do subscribe for more. And uh, for now, I will say adios.